Hi guys, it's Sam and I am going to be doing my morning and nighttime skincare routine again. I don't know what happened to the video that I made, but when I uploaded it to YouTube, the original, it came out to about four minutes and the video that I created and edited was 15 minutes and it I was so annoyed because it did take me a very long time to film and edit it and so who knows what happened to the clip because once I finalize the video I delete any old footage and I don't know what happened so I'm gonna try it again I'm gonna do it a little bit differently so let's get started the first thing I do when I wake up is I put my hair up and I brush my teeth I'm using an old school toothbrush I feel like it's old school everybody has the uh, electronic ones now and the toothpaste I'm using at the moment is Crest Pro Health and I don't really like this because it doesn't have that white stuff in here that I like I uh, that's very technical I know uh, but I put this on my toothbrush you guys know how to brush your teeth and that's what I'm gonna do my face and the product I'm using at the moment is the Shiseido Nature Go cleanser and I absolutely love this cleanser I would definitely repurchase this again and it's just really gentle but I feel it working on my skin and I just really love how it foams up back to my room I will continue the rest of my morning skincare routine here the first thing I use is the Jack Black, Jack Black lip balm and grapefruit I love the consistency and the scent grapefruit is probably one of my favorite smells I just think it smells really really good okay and then the next two steps which is a facial mist and eye cream these are optional I I do like to use these but it's only when I remember and I have time so I don't use it all the time but I thought for this video I would share this with you because I do do it a lot it's just sometimes I forget so this is the Tony Moly pocket bunny moist mist and I think this wins hands down for cutest packaging it's so adorable I I really love Tony Moly packaging and so I put this all over my face it feels so good when I put it on. It's just refreshing and it smells really good, very fresh. And I love staring at it on my desk. So that's what I do next. And then we have the eye cream. This is the Burt's Bees Radiance Eye Cream with Royal Jelly. And eye creams are is something that I don't use all the time. I just, I don't know, I haven't found a product that I love. But I put this under my eye. And then for moisturizer, there's two that I'm using at the moment. This is the one that I use almost all the time. It's the Boots Expert Sensitive Light Moisturizing Lotion. And I like it enough that I'm going to try to get through most of it. I don't know if I'll finish because it's a huge bottle. It's the thing. It's okay. It's lightweight, which is a good and bad, bad thing. I love that it's lightweight. It's not greasy, which I hate in skincare if anything is too greasy. And so it's lightweight, but then on the other hand, there's not enough moisture in here. Like once I put it on my face, it I feel like it doesn't really do anything. It's just you know. So I, I know it sounds silly in my mind, and I'm sure it sounds silly saying it out loud. Why are you using a product if you don't feel like it's doing anything? I just I don't know if it's like the cheap cheap girl in me or because I just I hate to waste a product where I didn't use a lot of it. So. Maybe I'll go through half of it and then I'll get another one because there are other ones that I like better. Okay, so I put it on my hand, rub it around, and then put it on my face and bring it down to my neck. And the other one that I recently started using is a Mimi Box product. Oh, and the Tony Moly Bunny Mist was a Mimi Box. And the other moisturizer that I just started using is the Fair Free Ultra Facial Oil Free Gel Cream Fresh Hydration. And like a lot of Asian skincare, this is gel based, so it's it looks really interesting and not like a usual moisturizer that you see here I've only used this once or twice and I do like it I like it much better than the boots so it's you know what I think I'm probably just gonna end up using this from now on and uh, maybe give the boots so away that is to somebody my morning else. skincare routine if I had to cut down the products that I just showed you I would well besides the obvious because brushing my teeth is 
a given. I would use the cleanser and the moisturizer and I would call it a day. Everything else I feel like is extra but I do like to do them. And then I will see you later tonight with my nighttime skincare routine. Nighttime routine and the first thing that I do is I take off all of my makeup and to remove my eye makeup which I went really heavy on today I'm gonna use I either use this Maybelline Clean Express eye makeup remover with cotton rounds and this is the Swispers brand and I like to have this as an option because it's quick and I really like to have the oil and the water solution uh, as an option and then the one that I'm going to use today is I put it in a different bottle but it's the Abilene product and I absolutely love that I have even it's an old video on how I use this it looks like this it looks actually like Vaseline and it just melts away the makeup and this is probably my favorite way to take off my makeup so let's get started I'm going to use a tissue to remove what melts off my face And then to take off my whole face of makeup, I have again two choices. The first is this AHA Milk Cleansing, uh, sort of like a mixture of a cleanser slash cold cream. And I like to use this some days, but most of the time I just take my good old Neutrogena makeup wipes and take off my whole face of makeup. lazy I would actually stop at this point of course after brushing my teeth and go to bed but I most of the time I do use a cleanser after I take off my makeup and this is the face shop white tree snow exfoliating foam cleanser I love this cleanser and I will definitely repurchase it it's so gentle but it has these exfoliating beads or molecules that just are is so gentle but it foams up really nicely and I feel super clean after I use this and I that's why I like Asian cleansers I forgot to mention it in the morning routine uh, I do use Asian cleansers in the morning and at night because they're gentle but they're effective so I'm going to use this As you saw in the video, I can open my eyes with this cleanser, which I really like. Sometimes I like to see what I'm doing. And I will throw in, once in a while, this Biore Pore Unclogging Scrub. And I really like how refreshed my face feels. Like, I can feel it not tingling, but it feels really refreshing. And I really like this product as well. I so I'm back sometimes. in my room to finish up my nighttime routine, very similar to the morning. And I was going to actually show you this very involved face regimen that I follow but that's only on special nights so I'm just going to do the everyday routine I'll do the special routine for another time so the first thing I do is apply a lip balm this is the seal Bigelow my favorite night balm and I absolutely love this it's perfect for nighttime because it because it is very thick you could use it for the daytime but only use a little bit so I just pour some out Ooh. And this stays on for a very long time. It's just amazing how well this product works. And then, if I am having an active breakout, which uh, this one is a little bit of, it's drying up, but I'm gonna apply my Retin-A. Looks like this, and I only apply a very little bit. And I like to apply this whenever I, it's during that time of the month or before to uh, prevent pimples from forming and it works well for that and also if I have an active pimple it brings it to the surface and really dries it out. So I squeeze that a little bit and I apply it right for right eye there. cream. I have been trying out. This is the Michelle Fabulous Eye Cream and it looks like this. I've only used this maybe for about a week so I can't really tell you anything but I'm trying to be better about applying an eye cream in the morning and at night time. For the night moisturizer, I am using this Crazy or Crazy Moistage and it's Wrinkle Essence Cream Extra Rich and it is such an indulgent kind of product. It is so rich and creamy. It's perfect for nighttime and I kind of like using this type of moisturizer instead of Asian. Asian products tend to be clear or like jelly or something like that and I like to use this I feel like there's a little bit more moisture in these kinds of products 
So I am going to take some. And this is another very cute looking product that I use at night. This is my hand cream and I like to put it on right before I go to bed. This is by, I believe, Nature Republic. And I just have a little bit left, but what's great about this is I can just refill it with another product. As you know, my lashes on this eye particularly have gotten really sensitive. They're breaking off and I'm just not sure what's going on. So I have another Michelle product. This is the Ultimate Lash and Brow Serum. And I feel like it's working because I fill in my brows even though I feel like I have pretty thick brows. I started filling in right here just so it matches up with this and it's I can see hairs growing in there so I'm hoping it'll do the same for my lashes and I'm very bad about applying this every night so I try to keep it by my bed and you just put it on the base of your lashes and I like to do that right before I go to bed because it kind of stings just a tiny little bit so I don't know what when my eyes are closed it feels a little bit better so I applied this but I'll do that and off that camera is that's my nighttime routine as I said there is an extensive one that I do every two to three nights but that'll be a different video and just to wrap things up I feel like I have a really good routine going it's really important that you follow a regimen a skincare regimen and definitely if you wear makeup like me to I think nighttime is really important to a time to take off your makeup really take care of your skin moisturize it so you're prepared to put on more makeup the next day and I think that's all I have to say. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If I didn't go over a product and you want more info on it, please send me a message or write in a comment below. I would love to hear what your favorite skincare products are at the moment and maybe I'll find something new to add to my routine for morning and nighttime. And products are always going in and out. So what I'm using now might change in a month or two months or a few days. I just join you what I'm using currently and I'm really liking it. I know if I don't do something of this kind of routine, I can tell with my face because it is so sensitive. And that's another thing, like skin is so sensitive that if a product doesn't work out, I kind of discontinue using it just because I have had really bad breakouts in the past. And I feel like this, these products are really great for sensitive skin as well. Okay. I am done now. I'll talk to you guys later and I hope you're all doing well. Bye!